Um, we've actually, uh, the reason why I first made it was to do a reality show based on Showgirls with Ryan Landry. I knew that I would have to spend an entire summer shooting to get the right characters, and so I decided to do a feature documentary simultaneously, and that's what this is. Um, so we have been pitching the, the Showgirls reality show, and trying to sell this, you need people with money in, in this economy, that's kind of short, a little bit. Um, there's interest for sure, but people like the logo don't have a lot of money right now to handle the music rights in this film. That's a big problem. So, um, And I knew that going in, I still wanted to make it. I didn't make it to get rich, believe it or not. I actually did it because I love Ryan Landry. I believed in the product, I believed in the people, the passion to perform. I, I come from coming here since I was 19. So I did it for a different reason, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm really proud of it. And being here in this film festival and being able to show it to people in Provincetown, the locals and people that know Showgirls and Ryan has just been amazing. What was the big challenge in building the Uh, Well, yeah. The biggest challenge, I would say, two things. Um, I use a good camera, which this projector actually sucks, sorry. Um, but the color's way off. I spent a lot of time color correcting. The sound, uh, for some reason, I had the same problem with Connecticut uh, Gay and Lesbian Film Festival, goes out only at Steamy Brown. So there's something up with the mechanics in just these, this projector. Anyway, the biggest uh, challenge. So I, I got good cameras, and I loved how it came out, with no lighting, because I couldn't control the lighting. And um, I think the biggest challenge was me because I actually felt strongly I had to be one of the cameras backstage. I had to be with Ryan um, because I, I know Ryan, and, but all the people involved that gave me their time and everything, I had to earn their trust, so I had to be that backstage camera. So I'm not a camera person, so the biggest challenge was me for sure. <laughs> and um, you see his backstage, um, there's one dressing room, and you see people like getting out of my way. I mean, that was it was it's so tiny back there. And also, I only had two cameras uh, shooting the show. I popped out, and oftentimes I'd be like slammed um, to get that side. Um, and I never, I, I often forgot to change the gain on the camera. So it's all technical. You'll see a mic in my shot. Um, I spent a lot of time getting blowing it up and um, getting that mic out. So the biggest challenge was me, technically. <laughs> yeah. How long did you take to edit? I uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, a year and a half. So I shot it the, the summer of '07, and it just we just uh, finished and got into the Palm Springs Film Festival. That was our debut, and that was like holy crap. I mean, we're from commercials and reality TV, and we've never done the circuit like this and total newbies, so to go into Palm Springs as our premiere was great. Ryan flew out for it, that was a blast. Della, 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 Della who lived in LA, so it, it's been a blast that way. Um, but yeah, we lost an editor right off the bat because I shot so much and they couldn't handle it, for sure. And as you see, my style is really fast, it's not a normal documentary. So um, she's talking about film style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, it wasn't open. Yes. Um, yeah, it, it was very technically challenged. And it was. Anything else? Nice job. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Thank you to Ryan Landry. We're so happy to be here, but thank you to Ryan Landry because he's an amazing genius. I was fortunate. Thank you. Thank you, Papa Sam. Thank you, James.